Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, this is going to be my best class up for the other OP gun in Modern Warfare, or the one that's most used, is the M4A1. Now, this video is actually very, very cool for me because I get to talk about something very, very passionate, very, very uplifting, very, very happy for me and it's a thank you and what I wanted to say is thank you so so much for the support on the last best class up video the last one that I did was about the 725 and you guys have made my day you have made my week you have made the beginning of my decade with the support that you did on that video you guys end up making that my second most popular video ever on YouTube in 10 years I have never seen that much support, that much likes, comments, whatever, since the Black Ops 2 backwards compatibility theory video. I've only ever had three videos on my channel. Uh, one of them's not on my channel public uh, public anymore. Uh, but basically, I've only had three videos that have done stupidly well like that, like over a thousand views. And this one included. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for all the support, not only on that video specifically, but in general with you guys subscribing, liking, counting, checking out all my other social medias. You guys are amazing, and I don't want that to be forgotten. And if you do want to see more, please, please, please keep the momentum going, keep the like going, keep the comments going, keep the subscriptions going, because that will allow my channel to be higher up on the algorithm. YouTube will notice that and they'll be like, hey, this dude's getting a lot of traction. Let's promote his stuff. And it's a snowball effect. And then, therefore, if I end up getting noticed more, I have the privilege and the ability to be able to make more fun and amazing content for you guys. So if you do want to see more of this, let's make this a win win and make sure you do the following but anyways guys enough with the thank you let's get on with the reason that you were most likely here which is for the best class set video for the m4a1 now as you can see on the screen i did not find out how much i liked a certain class setup for the m4 until just this gameplay the reason why i am going with this is because this was actually my last combo that i actually tried for the m4 because i tried everything else and nothing exactly quite worked the way I wanted to play. I, in general, deep down, have always been a rusher. I like running around. I like snapping. I like, you know, running around, running and gunning, kind of like a chicken with his head cut off. And most people in Modern Warfare, or preferably the people with the M4A1, do not necessarily play this way. And I know this. But I'm going to be trying to give you guys a class up that I believe is versatile for both things. So I tried to make a camping but not quite camping to the point where you're you're really annoying uh class setup for the m4 so let's begin so for the m4 the very first uh, attachment i have is the monolithic suppressor i use this also on my 725 because this actually makes the gun actually have better damage range which i don't understand why i haven't looked up the you know the details if this is like a realistic thing or not i don't know if a monolithic suppressor will give you better damage over range in like real life uh, but the way that it works in Modern Warfare, that seems to be the case. So it's really, really good for damage range. You have your sound suppression, obviously, the gun in general silence. And if you rush around in Modern Warfare, I made this uh, as a tip in my rushing tutorial video, which you haven't checked that out for Modern Warfare. I will link that down below in the description. Basically, what I always said is that a suppressor is basically your best friend for rushing around in Modern Warfare. It's because with the minimap, you know, not revealing people, your best bet after that is sound because everyone listens for your footsteps and stuff like that. So you don't want your gun sound being on top of your loud ass footsteps. So if your gun is silenced, it helps you out a lot. Now this does in, uh, increase your damage range and your sound suppression, but it does decrease your aim down sight speed and your aim walking steadiness. So you're not exactly going to be on target as well, but it's a good thing for you to be a lot more uh, stealthy in my opinion because you can go around flank and who cares about recoil or like steadiness if you, you know, can get them uh, in the back a couple times. Now the next thing is an optic sight. I actually don't like the Modern Warfare's uh, M4A1's optic sights. I've used the iron sights before on old M4A1's, but I, I don't know if it's just me getting old or something like that, but I just in general prefer an optic. I went with the first one, uh, which is the LP945 Mini Reflex. Uh, you end up getting you know just a, a little red dot. It allows you to be more precise. I don't necessarily need to be too elaborate on the red dot. The only thing I just want to let you know that does does uh, decrease your aim down sight speed. But however though, it's a lot better than having clunky iron sights where you can't aim down sights and have a clear vision anyway. 
The next one is going to be the Merc, uh, or the Merc, I guess. I don't know why I said Merc. <laughs> the Merc foregrip. This will increase your recoil control and give you better hip fire accuracy. Now, this also, once again, does decrease your aim down sight speed. But the good news is, though, is that most of the time you're not going to be snapping, like, you know, right on target anyways with the M4. You want to sort of lean back. You want to use your angles. You want to lean. Uh, you want to sort of camp, I guess. I try not to encourage it too much. But, yeah, you do ne uh, don't necessarily have to be snap aiming all the time. Uh, but the hip fire accuracy is definitely a plus for when you do get caught off guard. And the recoil control in general is just better for downrange. The next thing I have is the stippled grip tape. This will increase your aim down sight speed and give you a better sprint to fire speed. And then you're de uh, decreasing your aiming stability. This is basically to counter all the effects of the aim down sight speed from the other attachments. This will allow you to have more of your aim down sight speed back, but still have the recoil uh, you know, being manageable and not necessarily getting in your way. Uh, the next thing I also have is sleight of hand. Now, this is not necessarily set in stone. You don't necessarily need to have sleight of hand. It's just what I prefer because, in general, I'm getting into a lot of scenarios where rushing and, like, reloading is t definitely a top priority. Um, I would say that if you wanted to, if you're going to be more defensive, uh, fragile wounding is definitely another good one because this will actually inflict a wounding damage, which will make it so that way uh, your bullets make it where a target cannot... Uh, heal for a brief amount of time which means that you can chase them around a corner it'll be easier also another one is the other fragile the same disabling where basically your enemies will slow down where if you shoot them they can't walk as fast so if they're trying to cut a corner they can't do so that easily which is definitely a plus the secondary is an rpg just because you know you want to be able to do that like instant one shot if i don't use the rpg i'm always using the deagle or the 357 like those are the three best things two pistols and a rocket launcher nobody really uses anything else now the perks are slightly different. I actually have EOD on this class, which I thought I was going to originally like quick fix better, but if I'm playing more defensive anyways, I've noticed that a lot more people tend to shoot rockets at me then, and I also noticed that a lot more people tend to for some reason, I guess, be more... It's weird, it's like it's hard to describe, like more people will for some reason not necessarily use more explosives, but they'll also use more like... Uh, you know, claymores and Bettys and like, uh, you know, just more annoying stuff whenever you're using an M4. So that way you'll like randomly trip over it randomly when you're trying to walk. So quick fix doesn't necessarily counter explosives. So I just thought it'd be better to run EOD because if I'm going to have rockets shot at me and people leaving crap all over the place, it's like they're trying to keep their distance from me, which for an assault rifle, that's weird. It wouldn't make any sense. I guess they just want me to spawn trap basically. Um, it's just better just in general to use EOD. Uh, if you want to, you can switch out for quick fix. I just think that EOD is better in this scenario. Uh, obviously, the next perk is Ghost, just because Ghost, unless you're playing on shipment, it's pretty much a must-have for Modern Warfare. And then the next thing after that is Amped. Amped will just make it so that way you can shoot to your RPG quicker. You want that, so that way if you are in a scenario where you can't reload, you can just shoot the RPG. Now, also for a lethal, I'm running a Betty, and then for my tactical, I'm running Stim. Stim is just so that way I can get back in the action if I need to, and the Betty is because C4 is not needed if you're not going to be rushing, and the Claymore, I don't really trust anymore at this point, because the Claymore, now they've made you know, a lot more balance, more people expect them, more people know where to look out for them, and it's just not really the same. If you run a Claymore, I feel like that people are more likely to not get killed, but for some reason, I feel like more people, at least currently, do not notice the Betty still yet to this day. I feel like that more people are likely to get killed by these because they don't crouch. And if you hear the Betty go off, you can also notice a turn around if you're close to it, and then you can just shoot them anyway. So it's just in general a lot more fun and a lot more easier that way to therefore survive. Now, uh, in the process of making kind of a more defensive class, I also kind of have, therefore, more defensive, I guess, special abilities. Now, I do use Dead Silence for when I do move around. That is a given. Dead Silence is, like, one of the better ones, you know, considering the loud-ass footsteps. You're going to want to run Dead Silence. Now, if you're not running Dead Silence, the second thing that I would recommend to you is going to be the Ammo Box. The Ammo Box is so that way when you are in a defensive position and you are running low on ammo, this way you can end up giving yourself the ammo without having to leave cover. This is sounding really bad in the, in the sense that like I'm encouraging you to camp, but the thing is I, I'm not trying to necessarily encourage you, I'm trying to like give you guys a balanced class up for both scenarios because even though yes I don't want people to be defensive or quote unquote camp, I don't want people to blindly rush with a certain class and then just get themselves killed. So this is a way that you can end up doing both. But basically at the end of the day that's the best class up. 
I hope you guys ended up enjoying the video, guys. And if you did, please, 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 once again, just like the last video, please leave a like, please subscribe, please comment, all that wonderful stuff. You guys are the absolute best, and I really wish all is well for the future to come. 2020 is off to a great start, and I can't wait to see what's next. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you all in the next one. Have a great day, and peace out.